Hi, I'm Daniel Hunt, a certified specialist in estate planning, trust, and probate law. What happens when a trustee dies without transferring all of their assets into their revocable living trust? This happens more often than it should. Usually when a trustee either forgets to transfer an asset into their trust or fails to do so properly. If the asset value exceeds the probate limit, their successor may need to file a California probate in order to reclaim the asset. But to save time and money, consider using a petition under Probate Code Section 850, also known as a Hegstead petition. What is an 850 petition? An 850 petition can be used when an asset is left out of a decedent's revocable living trust. This may occur when the asset has not been appropriately titled in their trust, even though the trust settler intended the asset to be covered by the trust. One common example is a trustee who refinances their home. Mortgage lending companies usually take a home out of a trust's name to complete a refinance. If neither the company nor the homeowner remembers to transfer the home back into the trust after the refinance, the home may trigger a probate proceeding when the trust settler passes away. Here's another example person creates a living trust, maybe after realizing their health is deteriorating, but dies before they can fully transfer their assets into it. This may occur when a trust is created quickly at the end of a person's life. Normally, a trustee or beneficiary would need to open a probate in order to distribute or inherit the admitted asset. Fortunately, California Probate Code 850 allows for a shorter, less expensive option filing a petition with the court to reclaim the property back into the trust. If the court grants the petition, the petitioner will receive a court order declaring the property as a trust asset. To start the filing process, the trustee or another interested person should work with an experienced probate attorney. Your goal in filing an 850 petition is to prove the decedent's intent to include the omitted asset in their revocable living trust. How do you establish intent? Here are three common ways. If the house was taken out of the trust for a refinance, show evidence, like a deed, that the real property had previously been transferred into the trust. If the asset was listed on the decedent's schedule of assets when they created their trust, this shows clear intent to include their property in their trust. If one house was sold and the proceeds were used to purchase a new house that was omitted from the trust, use financial statements and also affidavits to show that the new home was purchased with trust funds and establish the decedent's intent to include it in their trust. As you work with your trust and a state attorney to prepare your petition for filing, you'll need to locate the following documents. A copy of the decedent's revocable living trust, the trust schedule of assets, also known as a Schedule A, the property deed, if omitted asset is real estate, and information about the decedent and their beneficiaries. A copy of the decedent's power of will that was lodged with the court. Your attorney can provide guidance if you need help locating this information. If additional information is needed in order to file your petition, they'll let you know. Here's an outline of the basic process of filing an 850 petition. File a verified petition that states the relevant case facts and lists the names and addresses of all interested parties. The court will set a hearing date for the petition. The petitioner must give 30 days notice to all parties involved and personally serve notice to any party in physical possession of the property attend the court hearing. You'll present documentation supporting your petition, then the judge will make a final decision. Most 850 petitions reach a decision within 60 days of filing, compared with 18 months or more for a probate. The total cost of an 850 petition varies, but on average runs around four to $5,000. Compared to the statutory probate fees of tens of thousands of dollars, an 850 petition can save significant time and money. If you have any questions about filing an 850 petition, feel free to contact our law firm. Thanks.